We watch college baseball and Major League Baseball, watch it on TV. What's missing here? Yeah, minor league games mm -hmm. have never been televised nationally until this season. And Thursday night, Omaha takes to the national stage. Danny Dunbar here to explain what else the Omaha Storm Chasers have planned on Thursday. Right. A Danny. lot Thursday, my friend. Yeah, you do. How did this broadcast come about? Because this is the first season, right, mm -hmm. that they're doing it for minor league teams? Or how's it working? First season, uh, nationally televised games. And we were chosen uh, because of the event that we have going on with uh, Mike Churchley's retirement and the Bob. Mm -hmm. and we're excited to host the game. What does it mean to clubs like the Storm Chasers to, to be televised nationally instead of just getting love on a local level? I think it says a lot about minor league baseball as a whole, um, just uh, making it more uh, you know, interesting for folks mm -hmm. to, to catch on in their local markets. Yeah. I think hopefully people are watching maybe at home that yeah. wouldn't and necessarily come to a game. And nice way to show off a good looking park like Warner yeah. Park, you Most know, when you, on, a, on a national stage. I thought you were going to say the good gym. looking coach. <laughs> 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 Mike will be there. That's General what this manager, is all about, yeah. right? You got the shirt. That's I know. correct. Yeah, we're, uh, we're doing uh, Mike Jersley, longtime uh -huh. manager, all time wins leader. He's going to be there. Yeah. We're retiring his jersey, and we got these shirts for sale as well. You know, be like Mike. You could be like. I love this no shirt. No kidding. Yeah, yes. all right. <laughs> I love this shirt. Wait, never mind the Jershley part at the bottom, but I feel like we're going to see Mike walking around town in one of these. <laughs> they get, people get bobbleheads. Fans get bobbleheads. How do you get a bobblehead? First 1,500 fans uh, through the Warner Park gates will get a bobblehead on Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so yeah, be the, be there early. Did uh, you bring one for us? Uh, I didn't. Oh, they, you yeah. know what? They're still they're still en route. We're oh, crossing yeah. our fingers. No, they'll be here. But uh, uh, six thirty gates. So be there in plenty of time. Mm -hmm. How does he feel? How does Mike feel about all of the fanfare surrounding? The I retirement? think that Mike could probably do without it. I yeah. bet he's yeah. that kind of guy. Yeah. If you guys have been around yeah. and met him at all, but. Uh, I think that he's 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 humbled by it, and I think mm -hmm. he really appreciates it. Is he it. embracing it? I mean, is he he's accepting? Well, he doesn't he, have a choice, right? right? <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> the gonna entire be organization is saying. Right. Yeah, Marty yeah. put him up to it, so he's got to do it now. Why so. is he the kind of guy that you wanted to celebrate? I mean, his, his loyalty to the program is one thing, and I know he means a lot. But for people who aren't aware, why he's so valuable to the Storm Chasers? Sure, uh, 14 seasons as our manager, including 10 straight. Um, all-time wins leader, mm -hmm. uh, great guy, uh, hard-working guy, and then obviously I uh, finally got the call up to the Royals. So yeah. we're just we're just happy. We're just celebrating him and retiring his jersey. Managing okay. a minor league team is a little bit different than managing a major league team. Talk about what he goes through and what he does in the off season, how that all goes down. Well, we, we, we put him through the ringer with promotions and different things as well, so there's some of that, but uh, he's developing players as opposed we're not always worried 100% about winning, we're worried about getting these guys mm -hmm. to the next level, hopefully, so that's Mike's Which job. Which is interesting that he wins as often as he does, that he's able to meet both of those worlds. Exactly. It's went exceptional. Out on, went out on top last year, too, mm -hmm. winning yeah, the whole thing. Whole so. thing. Yeah. How are yeah. Storm Chasers doing this season? We're doing well. Uh, we've had a lot of movement back and forth to Kansas City, but uh, generally, well, we're half you're, game up on Iowa now. You're, you're back up mm -hmm. on first. We're in first place. Right, we so. focused on Mr. Jershley this morning, uh, Thursday night. What else is going on? You've got a couple of full hours, I mean, what, an hour and a half before the game even starts, and then something after the game, too? That's correct. Thursday, it's a little bit different gate and uh, opening time. Mm -hmm. So 6.30 gates, 8 o'clock game. We have a pregame tailgate with the Budweiser Clydesdales, oh, wow. uh, some music. Uh, and then uh, obviously the uh, principal financial giveaway with the bobblehead and then post game fireworks. So, uh, are the Clydesdales going to be parked in the parking lot? Or they will, where do you, they where will do you be in them? the parking lot, <laughs> yes. Uh, they're not going to prance uh, around the first they're, they're not going to be, they can't come on the field, unfortunately, <laughs> but uh, they will be in the, the parking lot for, yeah. for folks to come up and, and, and take meet them. pictures. They're Absolutely. So, I, I got to see them once in Bennington, and just to see them in person was so much they're incredible. more impressive yeah. than the on comics. TV. State Fair number of times are yeah. so dang big. No they kidding. What else? is going on we're focusing on Thursday here but Saturday we're here uh, we're, yeah we're here Thursday yeah. through Sunday uh, Friday is a uh, Hy-Vee fireworks and then daddy daughter princess night uh -huh. uh, if you've got a little <laughs> one at home uh, it's a, they get a tiara they get on field oh, recognition how awesome um, that's Friday night that's Friday okay. uh, Saturday we've got it's Papillion La Vista night and then we have a performance from the sweet Wright brothers it's kind of a kid-friendly entertainment act mm -hmm. yeah. and then Sunday US Bank family fun day clowns face painting and really for people that haven't been to the park, haven't been to the new ballpark, haven't seen the Storm Chasers play, it's a family-friendly environment because we take our, we take my Very kids much so. and we've mm -hmm. got the bounce house and you got the merry-go-round. Mm -hmm. Talk about the atmosphere there. Well, yeah, you talked about the Centrus Family Fun Zone. I mean, it's it's one thing to go and watch a game; it's a whole another to have it be an experience, mm -hmm. and that's what we try to make it. Especially, like we talked about on Sundays, we've got so many things for the kids to do: mm -hmm. the the face painting, the clowns, the petting zoo. So, uh, bring the whole family. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a great time. You have a petting zoo? We have on Sundays. Yeah, what the Sobe Ranch petting zoo. <laughs> really? Believe it or not, I did yeah. not know what that. What kinds of animals are in the petting zoo? 
Uh, I believe they have some some goats. Uh, okay. <laughs> Again, in the it parking changes. lot, not I, on the field. It, well, it's actually inside the park. Uh -huh. It is it's out by the wiffle ball field, the Borsheim's Diamond. So okay. it's, you, you can't hardly miss it. Growing up in a rural area, you just put goats out in a pasture and let them go to work. So maybe if the crew needs a night off from mowing the field, they, they, they could just let the goats run around. They can and do drag the, job. the field certainly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, post game fireworks, <laughs> thirsty Thursday, so you're saving on a couple of drinks. Maybe a dog, but pregame, uh, the tailgate, you said the gates open at 6.30. We have 5.30 on the screen. So yeah, is it 6.30? The ta tailgate starts at 5.30, that's correct. I do gates, see. Gates at 6.30. 6.30. Yep, and then yeah. the, uh, the uh, principal financial bobblehead with Mike Jerschel and, and that's the first number. 1,500 fans first get a bobblehead. 1,500 fans, so that's correct. So if you correct. want one of those, Make sure you get there early enough for that. Uh, early birds getting the worm mm -hmm. on Thursday night. And then events roll on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And all of that information is online at OmahaStormChasers.com. Thursday night, you can watch the game if you can't get to the ballpark, right? That's CBS correct. Sports. CBS Sports Network. Uh, it'll be the first That's national huge. televised game for Omaha. And uh, so you can tune in there, record it at least, so you can yeah, see yourself it. on TV. What is it? What, what channel is it on Cox? Do you know? Yeah. You know what channel is I it on don't Cox? know. I, I looked it up either. earlier. Yeah. I recorded it, but I yeah. yeah. Check your local listings. We'll figure right? it out. Right. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks for having, having me. Here. Yeah. Guess